What's up, buddy? Okay, guys. This is Dodo. He's three months old. He's a toy Yorkie. He's about, about three pounds. He's probably going to be barking a little bit. This is a little playpen that we got for him for the holidays when we go see family. He loves to hang out in there. And as you can see, we got the potty pads there. So this video is about a new thing called the puppy apartment. It just got in the mail. So let me crack it open and put it together and show you guys, show you guys what it's all about. So the setup process was really easy. Just take it out the box, unfold it, not hard at all. And I will tell you guys, our puppy was able to understand how to use the puppy apartment his first night. I would say he's not on level three yet for puppy apartment and we'll go through the levels later. But he is like, I mean, I would say potty train. I would say within like maybe a week, 10 days. And once he's able to just go use the puppy apartment and he's very, very smart. So I'm gonna go through that. Stay tuned. Let's go through some more information. All right, guys, so that was pretty easy. So I just put together my puppy apartment. Now this one's for up to, I think it's five to 10 pound dogs. He's supposed to be five to seven. So you can let me, you can let me do the video? Maybe not. So anyway, let me tell you guys, if he lets me talk, about what the purpose of the puppy apartment is. So currently, this is his crate. You see, it's got his bed in there. It's nice and soft. Here, I'll pick him up so he's not barking too much. Come here, buddy. It's got his bed in there. It's nice and soft. It's pretty small, but he's a small dog, so it fits him. So when we leave and leave the house, we leave him there, and you know, dogs have to hold it. The puppy apartment, as you can tell, is almost twice the size, if not three times the size. It has a divider that I'm gonna put in there. And it also comes with a bed. So the idea is he'll be able to have a potty on one side and his actual bed on the other. And it's not to it's not so people can leave your dog for six hours. That's not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is to train him to use the potty faster. There's a DVD that came with this that I'm gonna actually watch and, and check out. Because currently, I'll tell you our, our current system now we have a puppy. I'm a little bit of a MacGyver. I took some railing from Home Depot that we had laying around and built a little wall here. So it keeps him in our living room. As you can see, we do have a rug. We haven't had any accidents yet. But over here, this is also what I built. A little Home Depot, took some railings for closets and kind of MacGyvered it together. And this works. If I put him in here, he'll use it. As you can tell, he'll use his potty, but he has no access to it. The only way for him to get into this potty is I have to actually lift him up and put him in here. So it works, you know, we live in a cold, cold state of Ohio, our winters and stuff. So he's not so great at going outside. So we want to train him towards a pad. But the thing about the pads is, as there's one here, is they move, they slide, they're all over the place. And he's, he's not, he's still learning to use a pad. But if I just left that pad in the kitchen, you know, right now he hasn't learned to that point to do that. But with the puppy apartment, as you can see here, I might even let him roam. Let him check it out. There are three doors here. There's one door in the front. There's a door here. And there's also a third door. He's like, what the heck is going on? Our third door over here. So now he can come as it go as he pleases. Our goal is to be able to put the pad in there and we can put this in the way that there are three doors. So now he can access the puppy pad when he wants to go, um, and once he gets trained to learn it. And he also can use this puppy pad as his apartment, you know, cause he actually have a bed here. He's gonna start chewing stuff. So I'm gonna set it up guys to show you guys the end picture of it, but I'm just gonna place this in here for now. So for example, the bed's there. And for example, they gave me a pad to start off with. The pad's gonna be over there, and there you go. And then there's gonna be a divider. If you didn't see that, this is this is where this is where the money is. This is this is the difference between a normal crate and a puppy apartment. This one piece. So this piece is gonna go in the middle. I'm gonna do it when I have more hands, and then he's gonna be able to transition back and forth. Now, obviously, you gotta train him. I'm gonna get him comfortable with this cage. 
but I wanted to show you guys what I'm working on for this brand new puppy who's probably gonna pee on the floor here in a minute if I don't catch him. So All right, this is Dodo's first night in his puppy apartment. Ready to go to bed, buddy? So we're actually going with putting it in our room. You don't have to, but we're gonna go with that. He already went potty one time, so he's getting used to it. But he's used to really going to bed right here, so. This is the first night, we'll see how it goes. All right, so here are some clips of Dodo finally figuring out how to use his puppy apartment. Now, I do wanna tell you that this is only stage one. There's like three stages or three levels to the puppy apartment. The first stage, He's in his apartment, all the doors are closed, and he can either sleep there or stay there, and he knows to learn to go to the other side, use the bathroom, and then come back to the other side where his bed is at and use it as a den. That's a natural characteristic of a dog. They know not to go in their den or their apartment. So as you can see here, he's gonna maybe do number two, number one, I can't remember. But this is stage one. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering like, okay, so your cat or your, your dog is just like a cat in a litter box and how is this really potty training because he's locked in this cage? Listen, stage two, you actually use this training gate and I'm, I'm gonna show you a clip of that later. That gate gives him more freedom. It has a bed outside of the puppy apartment. The door to the puppy apartment is now open. So now he can go to the puppy apartment as he wants to, to use the bathroom. That's stage two. And in stage three, the gate is gone, his bed is outside, he sleeps outside the puppy apartment, and he's fully potty trained. So when he has to go to the bathroom, he wakes up and goes to the bathroom. Now my clips are only from stage one. As I said, my puppy's four months old now, well actually three months when I got this, four months old now, and stage one's great. He's more like kind of more stage two now. We still only use stage one in our bedroom, as in we don't put a gate in our bedroom and give him a lot of freedom, but I believe stage three um, is coming really soon. Like I said, stage one and two was probably like seven to 10 days. He'll be at stage three here really soon. So this is another night, a better angle of just kind of him waking up in the middle of the night and just getting up and going, hmm, something's going on here. I think I gotta go to the bathroom. So he's gonna go to the bathroom, take care of his business. And then what he's gonna do, he's gonna go back to his puppy apartment and go to sleep. That is a beautiful thing about this before this, I was get up every two hours. With a puppy, you should probably get up every two hours and take your puppy outside to go use the bathroom. That's what you should do if you have a puppy. If you have a puppy apartment, guess what? You can sleep through the night. You don't have to get up every two hours to take your dog outside. That's what I did the first week we got him until I realized about this amazing puppy apartment. And now we can sleep six hours, eight hours straight because he can go because he knows what he's supposed to do. You train him in like... 30 minutes and he figures out that okay i go use the bathroom here and then i go back to bed easy peasy all right also same night he went number one he was like oh wait i'm not done yet so he got back up did a little stretch went ahead and got his number two done and then he went back to sleep so the beautiful thing is number one number two he's good to go and we can sleep throughout the night and that's a beautiful beautiful thing so now this next clip is going to give you an idea of what stage two does. And like I said, within a week, he was basically on the stage two. So stage two, as you can see, he has this puppy apartment gate. So you basically put this gate around your apartment and basically he has his bed, as you can see, bottom left. He has water all day. He can drink water all day because he knows when to go to the bathroom. And here I'm just kind of eating cereal, eating breakfast, just kind of watching him. I didn't say anything to, anything to him, I didn't prompt him. He just got up, used the bathroom, and I gave him some praise afterwards. Good boy, good boy, Dodo, good boy. All right, so here are some clips from the actual company on how it works in stage three. Again, the puppy apartment is just somewhere in your house. You can actually move it around, it has wheels on the bottom, and the dog can just go use the bathroom when they're ready to go you can you know say hey success he's puppy trained and you're also avoiding all these old ways of doing it you know the pads the green um turf and all the things that just don't work so this is how it works and then also the crate you know that's just kind of torture in a way for the puppies so if you're interested in getting one i do have a referral link below um i believe it's 10 percent off the puppy apartment so feel free to put in code wes w-e-s and that will be below 
So again, here's some more information from the company about the puppy apartment, but if you're interested in getting one, the link will be below. Here are just a few more benefits of owning the exciting potty training puppy apartment. No more having to let your dog outside when the weather is bad. No more accidents in your home. No more waking up in the middle of the night to let your puppy out in the freezing cold and then having to wait countless minutes for them to hopefully go potty. No more constant supervision to watch for cues that your puppy has to go potty. No more urine spots ruining your beautiful grass. No more forcing your puppy to have to painfully hold it. No more bothersome phone calls to friends and neighbors to let your dog out to potty while you're gone. No more having to hire a pet sitter to let your dog out to potty. No more starving your dog at night, denying them precious water so you can try to predict their potty habits. No more hiring expensive pooper scooper services to clean up the mess in your backyard and they usually never get everything. No more waking up extra early in the morning to let your puppy out to potty. No more cheap indoor artificial grass potty mats that your puppy drags around like a big chew toy. Well known dog trainers even suggest smearing poop on them to attract your dog to potty on them which is an odor none of us want in our home. They are virtually impossible to completely clean and usually end up in your trash can after a few days of stinking up your home. No more coyotes or other animals hurting your puppy in your backyard. No more missing the mark on loose potty pads because the potty training puppy apartment has four walls around the bathroom that will naturally center your puppy so they never miss their mark. No more accidentally stepping in poop in your backyard when you have your friends and family over for those backyard barbecues. As you can see, there are so many benefits in owning the exciting potty training puppy apartment. Now it's your turn to share with your puppy the product that has revolutionized how modern puppies are potty trained. Now you and your puppy can relax and enjoy life together thanks to the Potty Training Puppy Apartment.